Rosie, a, a short announcement really, just before pre-season starts. Um, you will be departing Plymouth Argyle women, sadly, but moving on to elsewhere. Um, talk to me a little bit about where is you going and what's next for Rosie Train? Yeah, so I'm moving to America for the next four years to um, continue studying and as well play Division One football uh, on a football scholarship. Um, I'll be going out to Texas and I leave in less than two months now, which is very close. I think it's definitely going to be a massive opportunity for me, um, but I will definitely miss this club and all the people that are part of it. Um, missing not putting the shirt on every week and turning up on a Sunday to play a match or travelling halfway across the country to play an away game. But and definitely miss all the girls that I've played with throughout the years and all the staff, that everyone that's part of Argyle. I think it's going to be a shame to leave that, but we are moving on to new things, to have new opportunities. And looking at your career at Argyle as a whole, obviously you've been here now for quite some time. What has been the sort of the key memories for you and the highest moments, if you will, of your time here at Argyle? I think there's been many highs and a few lows as well um, throughout Argyle. There's definitely been some highs in the younger age groups with playing new people and playing some big teams like Everton was a key memory for me and playing one of those big named clubs and even now moving into the women's game is there's definitely been some highs and the away games definitely stand out as the bus journeys and the staying overnight and the, all the girls singing, dancing and definitely plays a big memory now. Um, but I think obviously a few lows is like obviously you're losing. So a couple of matches you lose and it's obviously not the best feeling but I think as a team we do push on together and that makes it a lot better to have that as a team and go through these highs and the lows as a group of people. You kind of spoke a little bit about earlier but is there is there, if you had to name one thing that you'd miss more than anything, out of, all the, out of all the stuff that you kind of mentioned earlier, what's going to be the biggest sort of change for you to your life now that you're going to sort of think about every now and again and miss? Do you know I think it'll be the people, mainly. Um, definitely, I think I've got closer to a lot of the girls in the last few weeks of Argyle, which is a shame now to have to leave, but... Um, as well as all the staff that have, I've been through like the past few years, I think leaving them and the effort they've put in for me and all of that is now leaving, I think will be a big miss for me personally. But as well, being able to put on the shirt as well, which I will not sadly be able to do anymore, but I think that will never be another miss. Every Sunday, being able to put on a shirt, number three on the back, I think that's definitely going to be a miss. Um, along with all the players, the staff. I think that'll be one of the hardest things with leaving this club. And is there anything that you'd sort of like to say to not only staff and players, but fans as well, um, as a sort of final a message, if you will? I'd just like to say thank you to all the players that I've played with in the past few years. You've all been absolutely amazing and made my journey even better. Uh, we've created a hell of a lot of memories that I will remember. And um, thanks to Ryan, Mark, John, Em and all the staff that are with Argyle because you have helped me massively and more than you probably know in the past few years since joining the women's squad. But I think the thanks that goes to them needs to be one of the biggest because I don't think people see how much they do behind the scenes and I think with all the messages that go on behind and like the supporters, the play, people that watch and keep up to date don't see any of that, but it does happen. There's a lot that happens, and I think there goes to a big thanks to them for that. As well as the supporters that come in week in, week out, they follow us up to London and back on a, on a Sunday to come and watch us, and they put their flags up behind the goal, cheer us on. I think they need the massive thanks as well to them for doing that, because at the end of the day, they don't need to, but... It does help us and it brings us so much excitement and joy to see the same people every week to come up and use their time to come and watch us play. Well, Rosie, on behalf of Plymouth Argyle Women, um, you will be missed, um, but we all wish you the very best in America and hopefully one day we'll see you back here. 100%. Thank Cheers, you very Rosie. much.